said the age of discovery was dead. These wanderers look pretty lively, and they are only four out of the thousands from the cities who are discovering the charms of the Scottish countryside. Far away from the dusty towns, they find sunlight and peace, as here in the woods by Drimmon. And all along Loch Lomond side, there's the beauty of the sun on the blue water. Boats dance on the waves so lightly that a young man's heart goes dancing with them. And always there's the hills beyond, calling the wanderers to new adventures, to walk with Scott through the enchanted trussocks, and maybe find some modern lady by the ancient lake. There's the time when the young adventurers want to be like buns and make a sang for Scotland's sake or they may walk in Burns' own footsteps and follow the plough as he followed it on the Ayrshire farm of Mosgiel, turning over in his mind the songs that the whole world has learned to sing. Burns isn't the only glory of Ayrshire. Another is the fine herds of dairy cows that graze on its rolling pastures. And Ayrshire seems to produce attractive cowgirls too. Good afternoon. Uh, could we possibly come and see the milking? We wouldn't get in the way, you know. Surely, by all means. As for being in the way, man, the bairns wouldn't miss the milking. They're going to look fine. Aye, different if when they first come. They're on holiday, you can. Convalescent, really, though you wouldn't think of to look at them. Come on, Jimmy, you lead the way. A modern byre is rather a surprise to many townsfolk. In fact, it is so clean and airy that one might almost expect to find beauty parlours for the cows. The greatest care is taken. At all costs, the milk must be kept sweet and clean. And that's where the milking machine comes in. This mechanical milkmaid draws the milk gently through sterilised pipes into a special closed pail, surely the last word in cleanliness but some old-fashioned cows prefer the human touch and give more milk that way. Well, hand milking can be just as clean as machine milking and much more charming to look at. Either way, milk is delicious, the very spirit of the countryside. And it certainly has put kick into that young man. As a rule, milk nowadays doesn't come straight from the cow to the breakfast table. En route, it passes through a depot where the milk of hundreds of farms is collected. A sample is taken from every delivery and tested by the depot's analyst. Nothing is left to chance. Then this simple, unsophisticated product of the countryside receives gentle but scientifically controlled treatment to safeguard its purity against the contaminating influence of the towns. It is cooled over pipes of ice-cold water. Later, it passes to the bottling machine, a most ingenious affair. Rather like a mechanical cow, don't you think? I wish I had a bar full of cows like that. And here are the bottles bringing the riches of the green fields right to our breakfast tables in the towns, and the sunshine and the health and the strength of the country to those who need it most, the children. Back from their discovery of the countryside, the young adventurers take a drink at the milk bar in the station. Let's have a look at the menu. Yes. Oh, there are too many things to choose from. Oh, come on, make your choice. You can have banana, chocolate, lemon, orange. I love banana. I love chocolate. And a strawberry. And I love pineapple. Why do? And what about the dog? <laughs> yes. Oh, he'll get the milk. <laughs> I say, that slim lassie looks well on milk. I'd buy on shakes from her till the cows come home. Milk the thing for elevens is in workshops and offices, and many wise employers encourage it by paying a part or all of the cost. The milk's a draught of new life and makes the work go with a swing.
time, gentlemen, please. The country folks drink it themselves. They've got a natural taste in food as well as in hats. She likes it. Milk certainly puts a kick into things for the heart. There's Tommy Walker. He drinks a pint of milk a day and see what it's done for him. And every child in the country needs a quart a day. The plan of giving milk in schools is one of the greatest strides yet made towards improving the health of the nation. For it is in the feet of little children that a nation marches forward. Bonnie, healthy children are Scotland's finest heritage. They are the guardians of our future.